In May 2021, J. Cole released his sixth studio album, The Off Season, a culmination of his most intentional work to date and the sheer power of committing to the craft. The Off Season has become the prolific rapper's sixth straight album to go number one, a true testament to the artist's dedication to the game. The vision, I finally got this shit sculpted and I could see this shit. Like, for a long time, I just knew what I wanted to do, but I just couldn't see it. It was just like, this is the most ambitious shit I've ever done. The album art features a calm Cole with a fiery basketball hoop behind him, evoking a feeling of dedication and persistence. To get a closer look, Genius sat down with Belton Brown and photographer Justin Francis. It's Brown's job as VP of Creative Services at Dreamville to see Cole's vision. I feel like this space for my interpretation of what we've pulled together is, I don't want to say an ending of that, but more like now what's the next step? It's kind of like building to destroy and then moving on to something bigger and better. And he tapped Francis to be the eye behind the lens for the big project. The second I saw his uh, his name pop up on the phone, I said, all right, you know, let's get into it. Let's talk about the details from there. Let me help not only just sort of execute the vision, but also solve the problems because those two often go hand in hand. A 2012 image of LeBron James during the Olympics served as inspiration during the first iterations of the artworks concept. That still ended up being the emphasis of the short film featuring Cole's dreamer Puma Deal. But the team decided to take the ethos of the off season more literally by focusing on the fundamentals. Cole has uh, these, these drills that he does when he writes. Let me try to new heights from a skill level standpoint. Remember I told you about the seven minute drill? Mm -hmm. Like I put myself through drills. I really try to work on my craft to like just reach new heights and push myself. So we have to keep the sports theme, but we can't make it feel or look like anything else that we've already put into the world. The off season serves as Cole's latest basketball themed album rollout. From the warm up in 2009 to today's body of work in 2021, there's a definitive progression in skill and artistry. Don't do that, yo who that? He repped the field when he spit it. Told you he'd be back with a record deal and he did it. Nigga, fuck spinning on my pivot, homie. I'm finna travel to the refs, blow the whistle on me. I feel like in that time, even just from a fan perspective, I feel like he wasn't super all the way well-rounded yet as an artist, but he was dead nice and he was really sharp with his pen. Beginning of warm-up, he's outside in the snow and then we get to the end. It's heat, right? And like fire usually is the ending and then the rebirth of something new. Just know these verses is some shit they gon' forever play back, nigga. Hell yeah. The fact that we're here talking about burning a hoop, maybe it's the end of an era, maybe it's not, maybe it's just the continuation of this really kind of long running theme. A lot of people are talented, a lot of people can can warm up a beat, but to really have that focus and have that sort of larger vision over basically a decade, if not more of work, that speaks a lot to his overall vision as an artist. To make the vision come to life, there was a great deal of faith that came into play. Finding the perfect location to capture the feel while also meeting production standards wasn't an easy task. Imagine going to a location owner being like, hey, yeah, is it cool if we shoot something here? We're not going to tell you who the artist is. We're not going to tell you what we're shooting, but we do need to light something on fire. Well, not a lot of people are going to sign up for that. Even after securing the space, both Justin and Felton weren't entirely convinced, but they took it as fuel to drive harder and do whatever it took to make the dream come to fruition. And then early in that week, we saw scout photos of the place we ended up shooting. And then Felton and I were like, nah, you guys got to keep looking. Like, we didn't see it at first. You know, when you drive up in the middle of the day, you're like, what am I doing in this in this parking lot? Like, how are we going to convince Cole that this is the exact right spot to do this shoot? And it's going to look great. Like, you got to right. see it inside your head. It just, you know, gave us that much more homework and, and made sure that we had to try that much harder to make it good. The nonchalant expression on Cole's face contrasts the most temperamental object on set, the flames. Incorporating fire into production adds an extra presence in the mix, one that's difficult to control. It's so hard to get the level of smoke right timed with how the hoop is burning. And a lot of times it was like, oh man, this, this was perfect while that was fading. And well, that was way too heavy while well, that, you know, that was was getting right. As you know, there's no like fader knobs. You can't just sort of dial it in. It's all about timing and whatever, you know, Mother Nature has in store for us at that moment. When it came time to pick up the camera, Cole made an executive decision on set that helped deliver the powerful work. After we had it all set up and, and going and lit, perfect. Ultimately, Cole's like, let's turn the lights off. Cole is an artist who likes to see what we're doing as we're doing it, as opposed to being like, hey, Let's just shoot a bunch and then I'll show you later. He, he really wants to be part of the process. So I feel like the image that was ultimately selected was one where, you know, he felt he knew exactly what it looked like that made him confident to, to say that was the one. After wrapping on set, how long did you have to get the images back? Days. We prepped Friday, Saturday. We shot Sunday. I think first pass of images we got, what, Monday night, Tuesday morning? Something like that? That was Monday. See, look at <laughs> he's just he's like Monday. No, no, it was Monday, and and Phil and I have our process. We understand timeline, deliverables, all the corporate shit, right? You know, Cole, it's his prerogative to be like, 
you know what, I'm just gonna drop this now. He's like, look, this image is hot, I'm gonna do this, I wanna do that, and you know, it's, shall we say, non-traditional, but he's earned the right to make those calls. As he etched another tail in his musical story, Cole also entered a new arena, debuting in the Basketball Africa League and accomplishing a childhood dream of playing professional basketball. This becomes yet another chapter in the life of Fayetteville's own, one that allows us to see new heights for ourselves through witnessing Cole's journey. What I love about the story is, it meets this, not even a crossroads, it meets, it meets a point in the road where there's multiple ways to take it, and that's all a part of the story that is Jermaine Cole. I'm Delisa with Genius News, bringing you the meaning and the knowledge behind the music. <laughs>